and welcome in everybody glad you're with us interleague baseball on mlb the show it's the texas rangers and the chicago cubs joined by my partner chris singleton i'm john shambi and we got a rubber match on our hands today partner yeah the final game of a three game set they've split the first two and regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Drew Smiley. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub 350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year. Got him. One gone here. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. On the ground, corner picks it up, fires the first on the run. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone, two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Nathaniel Lowe. The 1-1. One, one. That one missed. And now it's even up. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a miss. The high heat, too much on that one. Rangers go down quickly there. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Back after this on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Check swing, but he went too far. <laughs> and the count, one and two. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Next offering is fouled back. <clears throat> and a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Down the line towards the corner. That's down. One hops off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Christopher Morell, the next cup to hit. Next pitch has popped up. Low brings it in, and there's two away. Edwin Rios here didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And this one bounces away from Garver. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing. Line and a base hit into right. One run is in. And into second easily with a two-out double. 
Runner from second crosses the plate, and they lead by two. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Rios at second with two down. Ground ball up the middle. Simeon handles. Throws to first, and that'll do it. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the friendly confines. Here's the veteran shortstop, Corey Seager. So now one and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And now the count is even. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. That one misses. Three and two now. Fly ball down the line. Davis settles under this one. Two. And there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Homeward in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And the pitch. And there's a the ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. Bellinger sizing it up. Long run, tracks it down. And there's one away. That's just a really nice catch on the Ball's run crushed. right there. He saved extra bases for Pretty sure. Bellinger's punches in the Eastern Bib. Second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Ball to strike. Double play ball to second. Wow, There's looks like one. Nika. And it's a double play to end the inning. Okay. Welcome back, bottom of the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jan Golds. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And he went, says Larry Buller. Jan Golds waits. On the ground to short. Seeger collects it. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. Had the day off yesterday. Next offering is fouled back. Left-hand hitter waits. Two balls, two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. Two down. There's two down. So digging in, Brennan Davis. Next offering is in for a strike. Go get him. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches. So some concern there. Lifted in the air, out to left. Thompson makes the catch, and that'll do it. New inning getting started. Now it's Robbie Grossman. The line to kick the pitch. Thank you. That's Good a up, loser. Robbie. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. 
All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Josh Young. Got him looking. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Adolis Garcia now at the plate. Two for seven in the series so far. And one and two. In the dirt, but kept close. Fires to second for one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base pass, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. He gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. Garcia leads off first with two down to the inning. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second. Back here at Wrigley Field, here's Nico Horner. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. In half, up to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Quick recovery from the yeah, base play. He's off for the out. Here's a 1-1. One, one. They say it went. One ball, two straight. Got it by him. Oh, for the Nothing happening there for the Cubs as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Leone Tavares. The wine of the pitch. At the ball. That misses three balls and a strike. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Bounce to the left side. Early. Toss to Mancini. One up, one down. Nathaniel Low up to hit. The first base. Come on, Nate. Kicks and deals. The other way. Slings the first two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. So now it's Corey Seager. Two outs. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Come on, Corey. And that one clips the corner. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets. Here at Wrigley Field. Bottom of the fourth. Down the third baseman. Christopher Morell. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that is a foul ball. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Kick the 3 2. Struck him out looking. One down. The bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. And now it's one and two. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Trey Mancini now rounded out his first time up. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. In the air to left down the line. And it drops foul into the corner. And down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two. On the north side.
side of Chicago. John Chambi and Chris Singleton. We go to the top of the fifth. Standing in is the power on, Marcus. second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Let's go. And a base hit into right center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And the next pitch is way outside. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Stepping in, Robbie Grossman doubled his first time up. Here comes a pitch. Simeon leads off first with one away. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. Beat him, Robbie. First double play, and that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Here's Jan Gomes. Swing and a ball hammered left field. It's gone. And it finds the basket and gone. He dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the element. Oh, that got him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Outside, Next pitch is outside. Runner at first with no outs here. The next offering misses. Full count now. On the ground, right side. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. You gotta love his hustle down the line to beat the flip to the bag. I mean, there's a lot going on. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Out to short. Goes to second. Safe there. Now the number two hitter, Ian Hatt. Single to score back in the first. He's one for two. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But is it? And now this is down for a base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and the lead is up to five. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Corner on third, half at first with no outs. Next offering is down low. In the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. That's a base hit. Run scores. In there safely. Well done. Drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone. I'm not sure what's going on. Those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Struck him out looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically... Young over to second, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. So far, back here at Wrigley Field, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. On the ground to the left. Rolls across the diamond, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Now at the plate, Adolis Garcia. And the 3-1. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk, and he reluctantly takes his walk. Here's Bubba Thompson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a 1-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Leody Tavares, the switch hitter batting right. 1-1 now. Fought off foul.
Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Activity in the bullpen. Hayden Wisniewski appears to be getting loose. Sampson warming up as well. Fights it off. He'll see another. I'm trying to steal back here. And there he goes. Bounced up the middle. Fires over to first. And the inning is over. Oh, this looks good. Back here at the friendly confines. And now the first baseman, Trey Mancini. And he walked him. You're a bitch, Trey Mancini. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there. Or for yeah, the yeah, to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Mancini aboard here at first with nobody out. And that chance handled. Throws to second for one. And that's two. I'm going to take that back to it. I really did. I'm sorry. Two outs, base is empty. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Center field. Tavares settles under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. He's going to run. And welcome back. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And a 2-1 on the way. And that one fouled off. Well, these Rangers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Hit hard, that gets through. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Righty reliever out of the pen, Hayden Wisniewski. And we all know about his slider, it's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here is Marcus Simeon. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and two. He deals. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Mitch Garver up to hit here. <laughs> here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that'll do it. Rangers leave. Welcome back. And now, Brennan Davis. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Jose LeClaire. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And he beats it. He's safe. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. And with the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect. And right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. That one to first. It's through for a hit. Davis. Round second on his way to third. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. So they're at the corners now. And next for the Cubs, Ian Happ. You know, these Cubs doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game. And the numbers back that up. Despite having nine hits in the game, the numbers don't this is a tough game. And so down on strikes. Grind it out. And, and that's the first out. Swanson stands in and a foul ball. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. Right through there. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Now the Cubs four hole hitter, Christopher Morell. Next pitch misses way outside. Corners are occupied with two down. And now a full count. I got three and two. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. And that's outside. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Here at Wrigley Field. Now it's the DH. Robbie Grossman. Next one misses. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Keep swinging on strikes. That's what I like to say. Ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Hands back. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, here is Josh Young. Here's a 1 1. There's a swing and a miss. One ball. Good late Two sink strike. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then. By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two outs, base is empty. Adolis Garcia will hit next. And it is two and one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Still up against a six, nothing deficit. You got nowhere to go, everywhere to be. It's like your eyes open, but you're not. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Trey Mancini. The first baseman, Trey. Out front and foul to the left side. And a pitch. Just missed the inside corner. Two and two. Got him swinging. Couldn't Sorry, catch try again. up to the heater. I really didn't now it. it's Jan Gomes. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Okay. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Bellinger up to hit. The 2-1. Fouled off. He was late. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece and stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. Looked like it was a little bit up. This one in the air center field. Tavares settles under it. Brings it in for the third out. And the Cubs are down in order. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Back here in Wrigley Field. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Bubba Thompson. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And the count is one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Here's the center fielder, Leody Tavares. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. 
Two down, nobody on. That to right. Davis sizes this one up. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cubs use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. 6-0 is how this one ends. The Cubs go home winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying